Ambulance companies that transport patients to life-saving treatments like dialysis and chemotherapy are up against the federal pilot program they say is getting in the way of patient care. Our I-team looked into these claims. News 2 investigator Rebecca Collette found an attempt to crack down on Medicare fraud could hurt the most in need of medical attention. Rebecca? Good evening, Brendan. The use of non-emergency ambulance rides skyrocketed from 2002 until 2011, but the pilot program rolled out in South Carolina over the last year has some living with debilitating illnesses left unable to get to their life-saving treatments. The lights aren't flashing, the alarm isn't sounding, but the ride from home to dialysis treatments is still often life or death. They give me a service that is absolutely necessary. Covered by Medicare, the rides are for people like Dick Linder who need medical attention during a ride to treatment. For me to survive. And not just me, but there are some other people in there that have the same thing. The CEO of MedTrust, Josh Watts, says the federal program that requires pre-authorization for the non-emergency rides will cost the sick their lives. And the mounds of paperwork is putting other companies out of business. Most of us got into the business to help people. And what that means is we will overextend transporting patients without the ability to bill for them. The program was rolled out in 2015 to reduce costs to Medicare in South Carolina, New Jersey and Pennsylvania. In the new year, the program rolls out to six more states. According to a study by the Department of Health and Human Services, the use of non-emergency ambulance rides skyrocketed between 2002 and 2011 and major increases in hospital rides up 55 percent trips to dialysis up 269 percent and transports for mental health services up 829 percent medicare processing company palmetto gba declined a taped interview with me but in a statement wrote in part our oversight ensures that taxpayer dollars are spent appropriately continuing a spokesperson said Said, Medicare guidelines for ambulance transport have not changed. Prior authorization did not create new clinical documentation requirements. Instead, it requires the same information necessary to support Medicare payments just earlier in the process. But patients and drivers question at what cost? Pre-authorization is required every 60 days and takes up to 20 days to be approved. Taking a patient that we have gotten through the gauntlet and they've been approved. 60 days later, we have to do that process again. For a patient that has no legs and has no arms and they're blind, they're not getting better. You know, that's a, that's a chronic condition. And in the case of dialysis patients, they need their three weekly rides for treatments to stay alive. One of my questions is how Medicaid is tracking savings and access to health care. Right now, Palmetto GBA can't answer me. And as for my benchmark question about how they're tracking savings, they declined to answer. Rebecca Clett, News 2. Coming up on 